my brothers and sisters in Christ, God gave me a beautiful word eight years ago. This was during a time when I was enduring severe depression during my first trimester of pregnancy. I had gotten to the place where I was asking God, what is the point? What is even the point of life? And I was asking this every day, multiple times a day. And then at night I was full crying, begging him to take my life. It had gotten so bad that I remember joking with my husband saying, maybe we should hide the guns. Oh my gosh. And then I'd wake up and I felt normal again. And I'd go to work because that was the routine. I never took any pharmacia for it because I was pregnant. But I just remember those three months, terrible months. And I've never been depressed before or after that. But wow, looking back, it is so amazing to see how God made something so beautiful out of something that was so bad. So here is my story. I remember just sitting in silence, staring away blankly, trying to tolerate my nausea and depression. And I heard a clear, crisp voice in my head that said, you have all been called to experience firsthand the knowledge of good and evil so that you may give your testimony when the time comes. And there's more. I heard, and your testimony is this. You were right, God. We cannot handle the knowledge of good and evil. Only you can. And then he proceeded to show me pictures like flashes of almost tragedy. It was dark pictures. It wasn't any specific thing I was seeing. I just saw swirls and darkness and they meant things. And so what they meant was like when the world comes down on us, when you feel like there is no hope, when you are challenged by sin, all you have to do is love. Love pierces this sinful world like light pierces the darkness. And it was so clear to me that he was trying to show me the purpose of life is to love, which is crazy because thinking back later on, that is precisely what Jesus left as his new commandment, to love one another as he loved us. Love is beautiful. And if anyone in the spirit now understands, that is precisely why I believe Satan chose to defile that specific word. But that's a different story for a different video. There's a reason why I'm wanting to tell you all of this, my brothers and sisters. Because for me, this world has gotten less and less tolerable. I have learned so much in the last few years that I'm not going to get into, but I have learned a lot about the evil being done in this world. And I am ashamed to even be called a human with the rest of this wretched world. I can't believe the things that I've seen and heard. And so this particular word that I heard from God eight years ago is something that I have been holding tight to. And I thought that this might be something that you want to hold on to as well. My brothers and sisters, we have all been called here to experience firsthand the knowledge of good and evil so that we may give our testimony when the time comes. Oh my goodness. And this story gets crazier because recently I had this song stuck in my head called Overcome by Jeremy Camp. And there's this part and it goes, we shall overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And I kept singing that over and over and over again. 
And then it dawned on me, I bet you that's a Bible verse because a lot of artists just choose straight Bible verses to sing. So I got my phone and I got my Bible and I looked it up and bam, there it was, Revelation 12, 11. And they overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. I literally felt tingles through my body and my eyes filled with tear, tears because this was, this was proof that the word that I received from God eight years ago was true and real and factual. My brothers and sisters, hang in there, hold on tight because we are almost home. We are here because our testimonies are needed for when the time comes. All we have to do is love. Love pierces this sinful world like light pierces the darkness. Jesus came down to show us what love is. And all we have to do is love. And I'm not talking about tolerance. Tolerance and love are not synonymous. We need to love like Jesus loved. And we need to love like Jesus preached. So my brothers and sisters, hang on tight to what Jesus showed us. Amen. Be blessed.